Hi, and welcome to the AI Aggregator Shootout. Today, we're gonna to take a look at ChatHub. ChatHub's not one of the more popular ones overall, although they do have a lot of subscribers. And we're gonna take a look today and see how ChatHub compares to the rest. So far, we've reviewed Magi, we've reviewed Ruby, Poe, and some others that I won't mention. And today, we're gonna to take a look at ChatHub and see how it does, what models it has, how it works, and whether or not we can recommend it. So stay tuned. So today we're taking a look at ChatHub and this is their homepage. As you can see, one of the unique things about ChatHub is that they actually display multiple models next to each other. So if you wanna know what OpenAI, what Claude, Llama, and even maybe Gemini do, you can literally put the same prompt in and have responses come in from all four different things. That can be helpful if you're trying to compare or it could be annoying if that much data bothers you. It's also probably gonna run through your credits a bit faster, but we're gonna find out for sure when we dig on in and see how it looks. Let's begin by taking a look at the models that they have and support so we can see what models are here. You can see we've got a pretty good list. We've got multiple ChatGPT models, including the new, uh, newer, I should say, uh, 01 Mini and GPT-40 Mini. We've got multiple models from Claude Sonnet, including the brand new Claude Haiku 3.5, or almost brand new, uh, literally in the last couple of weeks. Multiple Gemini models. We've got Grok from t uh, Twitter or X, and that's one of the few that we've seen that's included that in there. That's pretty cool. Uh, Llama, multiple models. Mistral models. Uh, Gemma, we've got a model here from Perplexity called Sona, which is their or Sonar, which is their online model. We've got Command R, DeepSeek, Quen, which I'm not familiar with at all, although they've got two of them. Uh, Yai Large, another one I'm not familiar with, DBRX, and Wizard LM. So a lot of different options here that are very interesting. And if you want to chat, you literally just go ahead and click Start, and you can do that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at their pricing models and see how their pricing compares. So two pricing models, they've got both monthly and yearly rates, obviously less expensive as almost every model is if you go with the yearly, but let's take a look at the monthly. So for $19 a month, you get uh, 10,000 basic queries a month, uh, 1,500 advanced queries, those are gonna be on your higher models, 200 document uploads, 300 image uploads, no API required. Again, overall, um, not bad for $19 a month. Let's take a look at their unlimited plan because this is somewhat unique in the aggregator model and they offer unlimited unlimited basic queries on your main models. They also are giving you unlimited advanced queries on the higher models that typically are limited. So 1500 advanced queries may seem like a lot and that may be, but if you're a power user using it more often, the unlimited aspect for $39 a month or what you'd roughly pay for two models, it does not seem like a bad idea. They also give you unlimited document uploads, a thousand image generation a month. I don't know if you guys know, but in any of the models, image generation takes a lot of credit. So that's quite a few images to be able to generate. Now again, no need for API keys, and they do have an iOS and Android app, which is a bonus. Um, in addition, they have some premium features that you can chat with up to six bots simultaneously, real-time web access. By the way, that simultaneous is what we were showing here on the first page where it shows multiple models here. So it's showing four of them here in the video. You can do up to six of those at one time, which is cool. It has web access. You get to chat with images and files. You can summarize multiple chats in with one click. You can save and explore things in the prompt library, uh, even review code and all that type of stuff. So overall, I'm impressed with what I see. Let's dig in now and see what we think as we dig in into the software itself. So I went ahead and signed up for the ChatHub Pro subscription, and that's the one we're gonna test out here. So you can see when I come in, I've got uh, two models that came up by default, ChatGPT 4.0 and Claude 3 Sonnet. I can go right down here and choose what I want. Down here, I've got a Windows. If I wanna add additional models, there's three simultaneous models. Here's four simultaneous models, if I can click on that one. Uh, it's not letting me do those. It may be limited in my plan. Let's go take a quick look and see says we can do up to six simultaneously. I'm not sure why that's not working, but that's all right. We'll go ahead here. We're gonna choose ChatGPT 4.0, Claude Sonnet, and Gemini 1.0 Pro. Uh, let's see here, let's compare. And yeah, I think for now that'll be, actually let's do the new Llama model instead. So decent high-end models from everybody. Let's take a look and throw in a prompt. So as you guys know, the normal prompt I do is you're an expert uh, technical writer specializing in creating step-by-step -step SOPs. By the way, guys, I can't talk and type. 
That's just kind of the way it is. Please create me an SOP to upload a blog post to my WordPress website and optimize it for SEO using Yoast SEO. Please ask me any questions you have. All right, let's see what happens. So one of the things I do like about ChatHub is the fact that you get to see it doing multiple models at the same time. Uh, obviously speed here is pretty good. I'm overall happy with that. You can see each one here is asking me some questions. Let's take a look and we'll go ahead and respond to these questions. I'm assuming when we do this, it's gonna to respond to all of them. We've got seven questions from GPT, five from Sonnet, and seven from Llama. Let's go and answer the ones that we can deal with the best. So uh, one self-hosted, to latest version of Yoast. I'm gonna make sure I explain it just a little bit since we've got three models here and then the questions are not in the exact same order. Uh, admin level access. Actually, let's make it instead, let's make it editor level, editor level access. It's more likely in many cases. Uh, content prepped for, we're gonna leave that one off, uh, SEO, We'll leave off additional plugins, no. Uh, so we'll just answer the first three and let's see how it goes. Now again, when it asks questions, uh, it's gonna go ahead and then fill in the blanks for the ones we didn't ask. And you can see we're getting pretty good responses. Uh, if you remember our last test, which didn't go so well, although we remain unnamed at the moment, uh, we had a lot of speed issues and this one seems to be going pretty quickly as fast as I would expect any of them to go. And again, overall, I like the way this comes out, um, getting good information. The information, by the way, that you get from virtually all these aggregator models is gonna be very consistent with what you would get if you were using the model itself. So if I was going out and using Claude, I would expect something very, very similar to this. And we may get slight differences because Claude may throw it into an artifact and that type of thing, but it's gonna be very, very similar. Just to give you an idea, let's go ahead and take this and let's go over to Claude. I do have a paid Claude subscription and let's just compare outputs real quick. So we're just gonna go ahead and paste that in here. There we go. Let me go back and remember the questions that I gave it so that we can give the same basic responses. Okay, we're back. I seem to have lost my history. There we are. Just had the wrong tab. We'll highlight this here and we'll go back into Claude here. We'll give it the exact same responses and we'll see how it does. Again, speed wise seems very similar. So now this is where you will see some differences. So in this case, Claude has chosen to use an artifact to go ahead and create this. Uh, and it's gonna probably create a little bit different version as a result of that, but probably not tons different. We're seeing the, the basics come in here. We'll do login and access, then content creation, then Yoast. Let's see here. We've got pre-written preparation, then content creation, Yoast SEO. A little different process here. Again, I'm not sure we could have it compare both and and do that um, in fact let's do it let's copy this and then actually let's go back to chat hub and let's copy the one in chat hub and let's go back to claude and compare how does move my face out of the way here a minute hang on there we go how does this response compared to the following. So I'm not gonna give it any information where it came from. I don't want it to have any bias. We're just gonna paste that in. And now it's gonna compare what it just wrote with what we got out of ChatHub. And let's see what we come up here a minute and what it says. All right, so it basically it has said the analyze the key differences, uh, um, structure and format. So the one that was done in Claude was more formal. Again, it used artifact as opposed to not using artifact. Um, the comparison is more condensed and linear. Uh, the new version in chat here had some additional sections. Detail level uh, was, was similar, it looks like. Some other things that are different. The practical usage. Comparison version might be more practical for daily use. Uh, my version might be more comprehensive. Uh, and so, again, I think probably 
candidly, in this case, uh, ChatHub using Claude may have actually provided a better response than the artifact did itself. Hard to tell for sure. But again, we've got that capability and super easy to go ahead and take a look over here. Uh, I don't seem to be logged in with my plan. I'm going to go ahead and reload here a minute. That may have been on the free plan. There we go. Now I'm on the pro plan just to make sure. So I've got my usage there. It is nice. They give you a free plan to go ahead and, and try out. If you're looking for some free usage, that's always nice uh, to take a look at and, uh, and always get some access. So I've got my models over here on the side. This is the first time I'm looking through this guy, so I don't have any more information than you might. We're just taking a look and trying to evaluate how easy it is to use. Let's go ahead and try that in Grok and try that exact same prompt here a minute and see how Grok does with it. It's going to have similar questions, so we'll go ahead and give it the same answers. It's not necessarily the ones it was asked for, but I want to give it the same information. And now Grok is going ahead and doing this. Again, one of the few models we've looked at in the aggregators that actually has Grok, so that's nice. It does appear kind of limited in what they did. They're very straight to the point. That could be a Grok thing. I don't think that's any hit on chat hub whatsoever. Uh, and we've got lots of additional ones down here. Again, I'm not always familiar with all these, but nice to have the capabilities to do that. What I don't see here anywhere is any image capabilities whatsoever. So let's take a look down here. So there's our apps. That is a unique feature. Very few of these aggregators have actually had apps available. This does, which is nice. We've got support. Uh, what else do we have down here? I guess I'll have to click on it. Oh, dark mode and light mode. Okay, that's nice. And then we've got our settings that we can do. So if you're looking for a simple solution where you get essentially uh, almost unlimited usage of the different models, but you're doing it within just text, no graphics capabilities, um, this may be one to definitely consider. It's very easy to get back up. We can add in additional models, I'm assuming. There we go, there's our six. Now it's working that I move my picture out of the way. So we can get up to six different models that we want to choose here. And that is kind of a neat feature. So if you're primarily looking to use this for the large language model capabilities, content creation in the text mode, as opposed to video or images or music, some of the features that are offered on things like Poe and Ruby, um, this may be worth considering for the money. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move over to our scoring sheet next and let's see how we do there. All right, so we're over in our scoring matrix. You can see at the bottom we've got the models we've already done. Magi, Ruby, Ruby U, Poe, Straco, Omni, GPT, and AI for chat. And now we're going to do chat hub. So let's start here with ease of registration. Well, it was super easy. Uh, no problem there. Really nothing I could say they could do to improve. It was easy, easy pricing model, easy to understand. I like that very much. User interface. Um, overall, you guys saw me look at it for the first time. Literally, that was the first time I went through it. Thought it was good to do. Uh, I'm sure we could come up with an improvement, but I can't think of the top of my head where I'd go. Actually, I'm actually gonna give them a nine here because it was so simple and so straightforward. I liked it better than I have many of the most. Variety of the models. Now, when we're talking text-based models, great, great flexibility. Lots of different models, including Grok and some others that I don't see regularly, but no graphics, no music, no video. So available models overall, I'm going to say here we're going to knock them just a little bit because they don't have any of that. I'm only going to give them a six. Uh, depending on how important that is to you, that may make a big difference. Reminder, I'm trying to be as fair as I can across the board, but you want to evaluate these based on your own needs and where it's at. Pricing structure, overall value for the money. I think they did a pretty good job. I'm going to give them a solid eight. One of the things that I like there is the ability for $39 a month to get unlimited usage. And just as a reminder, if we can get back to that pricing plan, which I probably can't do easily. Nope, I don't have that in there. It's even less if you pay on the annual plan uh, and you want that. Performance and speed. Uh, I thought they did really identical to everybody else. Let's just see in the past. So we did uh, Poe, I think it was our highest rated one. Performance and speed, we gave an eight. Let's see what we did on Ruby and Magi, my other two favors. So we gave Magi a 10, they were a little bit faster. So let's go ahead, Chat Hub overall, I was pretty inspected, I'm gonna give them a nine. Integration capability, so we give them a zero here, not because they did anything wrong, they simply don't have any API integrations for us to work with. Training and customization, fine tuning, prompt engineering models, they do give you the ability to save prompts, but they don't have really any customization to go after. They do have some support, so we'll give them a five here, but not a lot, actually a four. They don't really give you much customization. Output quality, accuracy responses, I think they did a really good job here. I'm gonna give them a nine overall. Again, it's not quite equal to the platforms because you don't have the Canvas feature and the um, 
the artifacts feature. But again, really good overall. Data security, based on everything I've read, they should be good there. I've been giving everybody an eight. We probably should have dropped that one, but we're gonna be consistent across the board. And customer support, they're gonna give them an eight. I didn't need their support, but they have it readily available and easy to find right there. Documentation and resources, let's go back and take a look. I didn't see really much for documentation. Uh, we've got the apps and stuff, which I really should give them a bonus on that. We'll have to figure out how I can do that. Uh, we do have the support that we talked about. Let's see here, where is that? Supports right here, let's click on that. We've got email and Discord support, so those are decent. Not really any documentation to write home about, so let's go ahead and go back to our scoring documentation and resources. I'm gonna give them a six there, they don't have a lot. Now, in their defense, they don't need a lot because candidly, they, they're doing a good job there. So, um, one of the things I wanna do here is on scalability, I don't know they have a lot of scalability. They've got decent plans though. I like the unlimited and I like the app. So we're gonna give them an eight there overall. All right, let's see how this compares to others. So Magi, we came in at with a 96. Ruby came in at a 95. You came in at an 88. Poe came in at a 98. Straco came in at a 83. Omni GPT at a 71. AI for chat at an 83 and chat hub at 85. Now, if you think I've been inconsistent here, anyway, let me know. One of the reasons I think chat hub is a little bit lower is because they didn't have some of those extra features. And if that's not important to you, the other things they do have may be enough to sway you and make it a great value. Overall, I do like chat hub. I like the way it works and I'm pleased with the responses. So again, overall, I recommended platform its limitation is the fact that it's only text-based so there are no images video music or anything else but i like what i see here i'd love to get your thoughts do you think this is a great value or not do you think there'd be better and when you think about that if you're looking for text think about the fact they have an unlimited plan i believe based on those we reviewed this is the only model that actually gives you unlimited usage of the higher models for 39 dollars a month so I look forward to your feedback. I'd love to hear from you and we'll see you on the next review. We've still got a few more to go.